Your Excellency, the Vice President, Your Excellency, the State Governors, members of the National Assembly, former State Governors present here, members of the Federal Executive Council, members of the Diplomatic Corps, senior government officials, service chiefs and inspector general of police, our royal fathers, recipients of national honors and their families, representative of former Social Democratic Party, SDP, political leaders, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm very happy to be present and to preside over the commemoration and the investiture marking the formal official federal government recognition of June 12 as National Democracy Day. <laughs> the decision and this event is not meant to be and is not an attempt to open old wounds, but to put right a national wrong. Nigerians of their own free and will voted for late Chief MTO Abiola and the Ambassador Baba Ganai Kingibe, the presidential flag bearer and running mate of the Social Democratic Party in the 1993 elections. The government of the day inexplicably cancelled the elections when it was clear who was winning to be the winners. We cannot rewind the past, but we can at least assuage our feelings, recognize that a wrong has been committed, and resolve to stand firm now and in the future for the sanctity of free elections. <laughs> Nigerians will no longer tolerate such perversion of justice. <laughs> this retrospective and posthumous recognition is only a symbolic token of redress and recompense for the grievous injury done to the peace and unity of our country. Our decision to recognize and honor June 12 and its actors is in the national interest. It is aimed at settling national healing process and the reconciliation of the 25-year festering wound caused by the annulment of the June 12 elections. I earnestly invite all Nigerians across all our national divide to accept it in good faith. Our action today is to bury the negative side of June 12, the side of ill feelings, hate, frustrating, and agony. What we are doing is celebrating and appreciating the positive side of June 12, the June 12 which restored democracy and freedom. The June 12 that overcome our various divide and the June 12 that produce unity and the national cohesion. This is the June 12 we are celebrating today and we will nurture it to our next generations.
Accordingly, on behalf of the federal government, I tender the nation's apology to the family of late MKO Adiola, who got the highest vote and to those that lost their loved ones in the cause of June 12 struggle. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I would like everybody present to stand and observe a minute's silence in honor of the memory of Chief MTO Abiola and Chief Femi Femi and indeed all those who lost their lives in the struggle of June 12, 1993. May the souls perfect peace. Thank you all and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.